Academy, we have a super important video today if you want to make a lot of money. Talk about clickbait, am I right? But guys, I'm going to let you know what pops you need to buy right now that have the potential to be future grills. We're talking ones that could buy your houses one day. We're talking ones that you could trade for other grills down the line. You don't want to miss these pops right now while you can get them cheap. Let's do it. What's poppin' Academy? Hope everybody's having a phenomenal day. I'm excited, I got my Batman shirt on, I found this. I haven't worn it in a couple years. I found it laying around, threw it in the washing machine, got it on, got a new Superman hat, it's freaking awesome. The back says The Man of Steel. We'll wait to show it off in a later video. It's so freaking cool though. But I'm hyped up guys. Today we have an awesome video, like I said in the intro. I am going to give you guys some secret, top secret information in the pop community, not really, I mean, it's not that hard to predict anymore what pops are going to go up. We kind of see it a lot. It's, uh, it's following a pattern, especially with future movies and television shows coming up. It makes old pops become more valuable. And as pops become vaulted, they obviously go up. But I am going to give you guys a good amount of pops here that I think you should invest in. They range from like $10 up to about 50 or 60 So nothing too expensive. And I honestly think all of these have potential to become grails. When I say grails, I mean like $100 pops, if not even more. You know, maybe these $10 ones will only go up to like $50 or so, but still a very good investment. Once again, I am not a financial advisor, although maybe I should be. But these are just my predictions. So if I'm totally wrong, you guys can let me know and scream at me and yell at me. But these are honestly just some I really, really think have some serious potential. So I am not gonna procrastinate anymore. Let's jump into this list. Make sure to let me know down below what pops you think are going to go way up in value. Which ones you have in your collection that you think might go up or you wanna go buy before they start rising. Let me know, always love hearing your guys' thoughts. Everything I'm gonna cover here today is from DC or Marvel, my specialties guys. I should've worn one of each. I got two DC stuff on right now. That's what I know the best guys. You guys know I love my DC comics and my Marvel, DC a little bit more, but I love them both. That's where most of my collection stems from. Although we got some Pokemon Power Rangers in the office right here, so we actually got a little bit of everything. But I do have mostly DC Marvel. So let's jump into it. Number one, we will start off with Marvel. So you might have seen this around. This is a pretty easy one, but go buy. Right now, these are so cheap. Go buy your Hawkeye Pops, guys. The TV show is coming out in November, all right? So we're definitely gonna get a new pop line for Hawkeye. He's a pretty popular character to begin with, and we don't have that many Hawkeye Pops. It's not a pop they made a ton of compared to other characters like Captain America, Thor, Iron Man. So I would grab any of these right now. I would grab the Hawkeye from Avengers 2 as my top one. That is only $13 on PPG. You can find it on eBay for right around that, maybe a little bit more. But that is a very old school vaulted pop. We're talking 2015. It's got a cool sculpt. One of my favorite Hawkeye pops for sure. There's also two from Endgame. There's a common, that's only going for $9, so a very cheap pop. And then there's also one from Walgreens and that is going for $13. So. All of those are extremely affordable. Those pops, guys, I really think it's gonna be like what happened with the Loki pops. We saw a lot of Loki commons between 10, 15, 20 dollars, and a lot of those are now worth 50, 60, 70, some even more. We had Loki pops go from 50 to 100 to even more than 100. You know, it, that's what happened. So I think Hawkeye is gonna be an amazing show. I really think so. Jeremy Renner is gonna kill it. I always loved him as Hawkeye. I would grab your Hawkeye pops while you can, because I'm telling you guys, those are very cheap. All right, let's jump over to DC now, guys. Now this one. I, I'm telling you guys, this is one to buy just sometime soon. It, it's still very, very cheap, but I'm so excited for the movie. Next year, guys, as you know, The Rock is playing Black freaking Adam. Oh my God, I'm so excited. So not only is he getting a solo movie, finally, he's been cast for almost like 10 years now in that role, guys. He was cast before like Henry Cavill was even cast as Superman, or even before Man of Steel came out, I should say. But guys, that movie's going to be amazing. I don't care It's going to be like one of the best movies of all time. It's going to be insane. He's also going to, you know, go up against Shazam later, and I'll never give up hope, but he probably will face Cavill one day too. Soup, let's freaking go. I'm so excited. I can't wait. I hope he does. I hope he does. So. I'm telling you, there's only one Black Adam pop right now. It is a Big Apples collectible, and it glows in the dark. You can't get much better than that. It is only going for $23 on PPG, guys. I would grab that right away. It's the only Black Adam pop. It glows. It's an exclusive. You can actually still get it for retail on the Big Apples collectible website, I believe. So that's a really good one to invest in. You can always buy it on eBay for 20, 25 bucks as well. That's what I did. So honestly, a very good pop to be getting because that is one that will definitely be a future grill. Mark that down. Let's jump back over to Marvel. Now, these next couple I'm gonna say, some some spoilers here for Spider-Man No Way Home, all right? Now that, I mean, everybody in the freaking world has been spoiled already for that movie. But if you don't wanna be spoiled, click away now. But as we 
know, most likely we are going to be seeing Andrew Garfield and Tobey Maguire. Now we don't have any Tobey Maguire pops, but we do have some Andrew Garfield ones. So I would grab these right now. They are a little bit pricey. We're not talking $10, $20. We have the one from Amazing Spider-Man. I do have this one I got a few years ago. That one's going for around $65. That is probably, it might, you might have to pay a little bit more for that one. And there's also the Amazing Spider-Man 2 Pop one of that. It looks very similar, just the eyes look a little different. And that one's $55. I would say go for either of those. I mean, I, I'd spend a little bit more and get the one from the first one just because it looks way cooler and it's a little bit older. But those are definitely, definitely, definitely Go and do not only hold their value, but go way up. Those are probably going to go for more than 100 easily as soon as that movie comes out. Even if Andrew Garfield doesn't end up being in the movie, guys, I'm telling you, that pops is going to keep going up. Because it's an old school vaulted Marvel line. Everybody loves Spider-Man. You know, there's a lot of Spider-Man pops, but this one actually really does look different compared to all the other Spider-Man pops they make. And I'm telling you, he shows up in that movie, it's going to go way up. We're talking even maybe over 200. I'm serious. Lock that one. That is the... On this whole list I'm going to give you, that is the, my clear cut number one that's going to go way over 100 I mean, obviously it's already at $50, $60, but I think that one has the most potential to climb the most just because it's already so old school, it's tough to find a good box. I'd really, really invest in that right now if you guys can. And another one from that line that you also want to grab because he is confirmed for the movie is Electro. There's a glow in the dark one. I would go for that one. There's also a metallic one going for a little bit more, but glow in the dark usually does better than metallic. And that's actually only going for $48. So he is in the movie. So I really, really think that's going to be one that goes up because I'm sure he'll be, you know, I mean, Marvel always handles things well. I don't, you know, people, he wasn't amazing in The Amazing Spider-Man 2, but I think it'll be pretty cool seeing him back in this movie, exploring the multiverse a little bit. So I would grab that Electro Pop because that's a little bit on the cheaper end. I just grabbed them. I grab all three if you guys can. I only have one of those three right now and I need to go get the other two. Back over to DC, guys. Now, this one I do have a little bit of a bias, okay? You guys know what started this whole thing, and I say it in almost every video. My favorite show of all time, and the best show of all time, that'll never be beat, and I don't care what anyone says, is Smallville. It is amazing, we'll save that for another video. That's what catapulted this entire world for me. I got into comic books, superheroes, because of Smallville. I didn't even know who Superman was before I started that show. So Tom Welling, I love you, I owe you my life, you've done everything for me and shaped the man I am today. Boom, I don't care the cringe. So, I have a little bit of bias, guys. So if I'm wrong about this, too bad I'm biased. But. I really think these have potential. So the Smallville Pops are going up. They are vaulted, guys. It's a set of five. These are the three I would go after. I would definitely go after the Clark Kent when he's ripping open his shirt, showing the S. That is already going for around $50. I have that one, and I have another one signed by Tom Welling. I love it. I love it. My favorite grail of all time in my collection. That's one that's going to keep going up, guys. I don't know if they're ever going to make more Smallville Pops. So if it just stays to those five, which it honestly could, I hope they make more. But it looks like it's probably going to just stay to those five Pops and they'll never make Smallville Pops again. They could, but I, I really don't think they will. That one's gonna keep going up, because that's the clear cut number one of this set. So that could reach, you know, one, two, three hundred dollars even down the line. It's vaulted. Grab your hands on that while you can for 50 or 60, guys. That's gonna be a very expensive pop. And it's just, it's so sexy. It's Tom Welling. Next is another Clark Kent one from the first episode. He's got the red S on him shirt. Let's talk about hot from Tom Welling. Oh my God. Mmm. Oh my God. So that one's going on for about $27 on PPG. I'd grab that one as well. It's another really cool one from the set. If you don't want to spend 50, maybe go for that one. It's about half of uh, the 50. So that's another one. And another one that's very cheap is the Lex Luthor one. So that pop, you know, not the best sculpt, but it's only $12 right now on PPG. You know, normal common pricing. It's vaulted. I would grab that one. And then there's also a Green Arrow one uh, that's going for about $15. That one could go up as well. And the lowest lane one, I don't think will end up going too much. That'll probably be the low one of the set. But I would grab definitely either Clark Kent or the Lex Luthor if I was you guys, just because those, those are going to be some future expensive pops, let me tell you. All right, back over to Marvel, guys. Now, this is one that I've been hearing a lot from people in the pop community, and I mean, it's coming out, I think, next year sometime. I can't wait, is Moon Knight. They're making a TV show on Disney+. Plus. Such an interesting character. I absolutely love him. He's, it's gonna be such a great show. So I would get your hands on some Moon Knight pops, guys. So there's not that many different ones out right now. We have one from Walgreens that's going for $36. I would go for that one, all right? That one did has started to climb already. That's gonna be over probably $100 when that show comes out. There's also another one from LA Comic Con. I just got my hands on that in the mystery box. Talk about luck. That's going for $44. Either of those, I'd say the Walgreens one just because the sculpt's a little bit cooler. There actually is already a grail for Moon Knight. It's going for over $200. It's a glow-in-the-dark variant of the LA Comic Con one. But either of those ones going for about $40, I would grab. That's gonna be one that's gonna it's definitely, look, listen, pops are never a bad investment. I don't care what anyone says, all right? They're never going to collapse. This ain't the stock market, guys. It ain't going to happen on pops. Never going to happen. I don't care. You can't convince me, all right? You buy it for 40 Maybe it drops to $35, all right? But 
realistically, it's gonna hold its value, okay? It's not gonna drop down to $2, it's never gonna happen, it's never gonna drop down back to $10, it's gonna hold its value, you know, it's an old pop, and even on pops where Funko just floods the market, guys, the pops still hold their value, these old school ones. So, I mean, this isn't even that old school, but it's still gonna hold some good value. So, I would go grab that one, guys. The Moon Knight Show is gonna be tremendous. You don't wanna miss out on that. We got one more here, guys, to wrap it up. All right, and this is just a very random one. I was just kind of going to my collection scene, like, oh, what, 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 what could I see going up in value? And this is one that's probably, you probably haven't heard at all. And this is just, this is the Hail Mary. I love football, guys. And this could become a future grill. It, this, is a, this is a little bit of a Hail Mary. So, I'm gonna go with Crypto the Super Dog. It's a specialty series exclusive. It's going for $28 on PPG right now. So that's pretty freaking good. It's counterpart, we have Ace the Bat Hound. Yes, that's a 3,000 piece limited edition, but that's already going for about $200. Now, Crypto is a very fun character. Who knows if we'll get other Crypto Pops, but they are coming out with DC Super Pets next year. It's an animated movie. That is going to increase the popularity even more. Okay, everyone loves Crypto. He's freaking awesome. So that's a pop I could see being worth a lot down the line. I mean, it's, it's Superman related, it's DC Comics. It's gonna hold its value. I just, where that's starting to climb a little bit already, I would maybe grab that before it becomes, you know, $60, $70. I think that's one wise one to invest in, honestly. All right, guys, but that is the list. So, like I said, we had a bunch of Marvel and a bunch of DC. I really think the best ones you could invest in, if I had to pick any from this list, it'd be any of the Hawkeye ones. You're going to see the best return on those. Those are going for $10, $15, $20 right now. Those are going to go way up. Unless the show bombs, but it's not going to happen. Even if the show bombs, I mean, everyone still loves Marvel and the Disney Plus shows. So, those are going to go way up. We saw it with Loki. We saw it with the Scarlet Witch Pops. We saw it with the Vision Pops. We saw it with the Falcon Pops. We saw it with the Winter Soldier Pops. It's, it's going to, it's not hard to predict, guys. Just get, get your Hawkeye Pops. And if you really want to see an increase in your money, I'd also grab those amazing Spider-Man ones because those are just those are just mega grills waiting to happen down the line. I, I really think so. I think those will be like a couple hundred dollars at least in another year or two. So why you can get them for 50, 60, 70 dollars, that's a wise investment. But as always, thank you so much for checking us out here at Pop Academy. Make sure to smash the like button, guys. Subscribe if you haven't already. We're still waiting on that Freddy Funko mystery box to come in. Well, Fun Days mystery box of the three Freddies. I can't wait for that. Comment down below. Let me know which pops you think are going to go up in value and which ones of these I listed you already have. Are you going to go buy them? Love talking with you guys. But until next time, thanks for getting funky with me. I love you guys. Bye.